Hey everybody, this is Sheets, and it's been a while since I did one of these. Um, so on this very, very cold in New York Saturday, I figured I would take a little time and do a video with today's Gulfstream and Santa Anita selections. I did look at both of these cards, and uh, there were a couple of really good plays, so I figured I would go through it with you. Um, just again, a little bit of a, of disclaimer, I don't want to say disclaimer or proclaimer, you know, this is I've been doing this for quite a long time. And if you have, you know, if you've been following me with DFS and poker or whatever it is, I, I certainly believe that, well, with the exception of stocks, although some people could argue that as well, um, this is probably the best EV I can grant you as far as my skill set. Um, I've been doing horse racing and pick six stuff for, for a very, very long time. And there's literally only one person in the universe that I would trust aside from me to uh, to do better with respect to horse racing. And that is actually Steve, who sometimes does videos for us as well. Um, nonetheless, again, this is high variance stuff, horse racing, and, you know, uh, with all the disclaimers involved, uh, if you play my stuff, you're, you're going to have a really, really good EV. <laughs> you're going to have really, really good EV. Now, it may take you, right, 700 lifetimes to achieve that EV, but that's just the, kind of the way it goes with respect to horse racing. A couple of other disclaimers. I mean, this is being done very early, so there could be scratches. And not only that, but I'm going to be only taking guesses as to what these odds are going to be. Um, yeah, I'm going to use the morning line as as as, a, as an idea of where value is going to be. But listen, as opposed to some other, some other sports and some other DFS stuff, you never want to put horse racing bets in until the very last minute. Because first of all, there's no reward for place placing your bet early. And you want to get the most information of what your odds are. So um, you want to be very, very value conscious. And I'm going to try to give you, you know, some direction of what what odds you should be looking for. But in the absence of a real live stream, which I'm not going to do for horse racing, this is the best you're going to get. Okay. The other thing is I'm not going to get into all the details of how I go through this. I, I you do use the sheets, which is a data source that I've been using for 30 years um, plus, and it is anyway another another day for a lecture on how to read the sheets and things like that so uh let's start with uh with gulfstream park uh very first race there is quite a bit of value here now we you have to you have to watch for scratches and i probably should have waited to do this video until at least some scratches were out but i'm just going to just read you a whole bunch of these courses so the two the three the five the six the seven the 11, the 12, the 13, the 14. I mean, really, all of these horses have a shot, but you look at some of these prices are just kind of obscene. Like the 12 Eden Paradise is 30 to one. I think it's very legitimate. Um, I think the the um the, the six flatter me at 15 to one, chef mentor at 20 to one. So you could play like a whole bunch of these long shots and and probably be getting good EV. Um, but I mean, in general, it's a probably race, a race you're supposed to spread. Uh, okay, race number two. Race number two, I think they have a really, really bad favorite here, uh, that being the five, Bella Moore. So we're going to take a shot with the the three other, I think, three most likely winners. That being the two, Kilkenny Bella, the three, Cats the Gal, and seven, Un uh, Love Unlimited. So if you have something in later races to hook these horses up with, uh, this is a good way to get started. Or you could start with race one, all those horses I mentioned, or just the bombs and just use the two, three, seven here. I wouldn't play the five uh, at all. So uh, again, two, Kilkenny Bella, three, Cats the Gal, Love Unlimited. Presuming that these guys don't get bet down a huge favorite, favorite chips, um, favoritism. You can box them in exactness as well. That's a little more conservative. Um, but I think that's very reasonable. All right. Um, race number three, um, I think the six is an extremely strong uh, value here. Um, I, I don't see this being 12 to one, but if in, if you get even anything over six to one, I think this is a this is a key here. Um, Gun Maestro, the six. And the second horse I would use here is maybe Jackson's Web, the eight. But um, so if you wanted a box gun, gun maestro with Jackson Webb or do something a little fancier with maybe exact, uh, you know, two times value, oh, let's just well, 
give it to you another way. Let's say do a $20 exact to 6.8 and a $10 exact to 8.6, something like that. That works. Or you could just use the two of them in, in early pick threes, pick fives, whatever. Or you could just use the six and Gun Maestro. But these are the two horses. And I think Gun Maestro is a really, really strong, uh, strong player. All right, race number four. I think the seven um, is very pretty strong value. Heir to the Roar at eight to one. I think the four and the five are okay favorites. Um, the, the the weight on the four probably makes him her sort of equal to the five, as you know, probably the two. I don't want to say most likely winners, but at least yeah, maybe they are the most likely winners by a little bit. But I think the seven Heir to the Roar is is really really strong value. So I would key the seven. And then again, depending on what else you do in other legs, um, you could use the four or five. Um, but I think the seven is definitely the, the best value here in the race. All right, so race five, um, I think the four is a totally reasonable favorite, but we're going to try to, to do something different. The six and the nine, Carlin Clan and Jamestown, I think are just about as good and they're certainly longer. So these are going to be the two that I key here. So Carlin Clan, the six, and Jamestown, the nine. And again, depending on how much risk you want to take, you can use the four. I think it's fine, but it is going to be somewhat short. Um, so again, you know, we, we have some horses in all of these first four or five races where um, where uh, you, could, you could build some nice combination tickets here. I'll give you an example of that when we get there. As a matter of fact, I mean, let's look like, so race five, We've got through the first five races, so let's see what you could do. Like for example, you could do like a pick five if you wanted to. You play a whole bunch of horses in here, and again, these could all be scratches, scratched eventually. And by the way, I'm using Express Bet as an example, and that's that's where I that's where I wager. And if you want to, you know, listen, if you want to compensate me in some way or whatever, thank me. You could sign up for XB Select, um, which is right here, xbselect.com, and uh, use TrueDFS as the uh, as a code or something. And I think you get something back for that, but you'd be, you know, thanking me, I guess. Then what you could do is you could play Gun Maestro here. And so here's an example. If we just use the, 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 uh, whatchamacallit, the, uh, the, the, the keys here, if we just use, for example, Gun Maestro and then Heir to the Roar and then Carlin Clan and Jamestown. You could do that for 50 cents and for only $27, you get a real, you know, if this comes in, it's freaking, it's going to be over a thousand. I mean, I would say easily. Um, but if you want it to be a little more conservative, you can just add some horses like you put Mutawid in there or you could play, um, like I said, you could play these favorites and then go as long, as much as here. Like, so here, if you want to play $243, I mean, it's more expensive, obviously. But, I mean, you're reducing risk a little bit. And I don't have to explain to you how that's that's not a it's not a contradiction. I mean, you're spending more money, but you're reducing risk. You're getting more combinations. Um, so you could go anywhere from, say, for 50 cent pick five, you could do $243. Or again, if you want to take more risk, you could go... Um, you could go less and only play the 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 most uh the highest equity plays here, if that makes any sense. Um and then again, if you want it even worse, I mean you can go into the, to leg one and only play the long shots. And there you could for nine dollars. Now again, it's a lot less likely to win. But um yeah, and, and again, watch for scratches over here. So again, I guess to summarize the, the the pick five, these are kind of the my candidate horses to use here. Um and uh you could use as many of them or as little few of them as you want. Okay, uh let's move ahead now to race number six. Race number six, I think the six is a lock at six to five. It's actually not gonna be six to five, it's probably gonna be one to nine or one to five. So it's really nothing to bet there. Um, okay, race number seven. I mean, I think that there's a lot of value in here. And I, I'll just give you the horses I like here. So the one sanctified at 20 to one, the six Richie's got game at 20 to one, the um 
Seven lucky Curlin at 15 to one. Value proposition 30 to one and Maya Prince at 20 to one. I really believe that all these horses have just as good of a chance to win as the favorites. So you could use them in pick threes or whatever you want. I mean, if you want to, you know, take the chalk in the race before and play doubles with these horses, I think that's maybe that's not the greatest value, but that's not the greatest use of this value, but certainly a way. Um, or if you want, you could box all five of them in an exact or a trifecta. And really, I mean, those things will pay like billions if this comes in. So that's what I would do. Uh, race number eight. Uh, again, I have two kind of like pretty decent long shots here that I think are just as good as some of the favorites. So the four live is life. Uh, and the six emperors appeal are both 12 to one. I think they're very reasonable. I think the favorites are fine. Tap it, Trice, the one classic car wash, the, the seven, the two, the three. And Shesterkin, uh, Sh Sh the seven. But I think the four and the six are just as good, and I would key those. And moving on, race number nine. Uh, I think that the three and the eight are just as good as these favorites. Um, Mooncat, 15 to one. Bobby O, 12 to one. Again, nothing wrong with any of these. I think that the, basically all these horses are very similar, but the three and the eight are just way too long. So I would probably key those. All right, race number 10. Uh, I think the six is clearly the most likely win on the race, and he's only six to one. Um, excuse me, and he's a full six to one. Um, they have two big, big time trainers like Pletcher and, and Chad Brown train the two and the seven, and they're going to take like a lot of money, and they'll probably beat me like they usually do. But um, six is, or at least for my analysis, clearly the most likely winner in the race. And then I have two long shots here as well to kind of go with it. So we have the two twice as sweet. I think is very reasonable. And the four Arella star is also very reasonable. So this is, there's a lot of bombs that are available here on this card. So I think the six is most likely winner. And then the two and the four. Um, all right, uh, race 11, a uh, little less, well, I shouldn't say a little less exciting. I think the one, I think there's there's three horses that are better than the favorite. I think that the favorite Cairo Consort is, again, is this Pletcher horse that is probably going to go off three to five and is probably going to beat me, but uh, I'm going to try to beat it. Um, I like the one, Sweet Lose Got Aces. The six, Balsara, 15 to one is pretty ridiculous at that price. And the eight, Heavenly Sunday. So you could use all three of them however you want. You know, exactas, trifectas, bet Balsara to win, hook them up with the six, the race before. There's just so many opportunities to lose. I mean, so many opportunities to get some good value here and hope, hope that you win. Um, and then the 12th race is, is not much. Uh, it's just pretty much the, the most likely winners are going to probably win uh, at low prices. So let's just go over them. the one, the four, the six, and the eight. There's really no value there, so I probably wouldn't bet into that race literally at all. Unless, again, you lose everything until race 11 and you still want to get access to those that 168. And you could go ahead and play the 168 or the, or the longest shot of those with the 1468 in race 12. And that's totally reasonable. So overall, I mean, a really, really value, value uh, littered <laughs> Gulfstream card. Um, let's go over to Santa Anita. It's not as much there, but there, there are a couple of things. So let's just go over that. Race number one, I like uh, two horses here. Um, the two, Bottle of Smoke, and the four, uh, Big Talker, I think are pretty decent middling values here. If you're actually going to get five to one on either or both of those, I think that's fine. I don't like Doc Adams, the favorite at all, which is why I'm involved in this race a little bit. And then... Donner Lake and Continental Divide are both fine, but um, I think the two bottle of smoke and big talker are the ones I would I would kind of side with. Um, race number two, um, I think the seven is super duper solid. Um, I, I don't if you get four to one on this, you just grab it. I don't think you're going to get it, so uh, you just kind of watch. He's definitely the most likely winner. I probably I think. Probably five to two is fair value on him. So anything over that, I think, is okay. And I think the eight very scary is all right, also. But I do think Wise uh, Weems We Miss Grammy is 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 fine. Uh, okay, uh, moving on. Race number three. 
um, is really nothing. Just four horse field, the favorites are going to win. Fourth race is a little bit of value. Okay, so one is Silk Stocking, the five, and Oakhurst, the eight, I think are two very, very strong values here. So um, I would play either or both of those, box them. I think that's really strong. Then you go through three races in a row, which are completely unplayable. Race five, total wheel, can't do anything. Race six, total wheel, can't do anything. And race seven, total wheel, can't do anything. That we get to race number eight, where I have a little something here. I don't even know if he, can, if he draws in, but the uh, draws in. The 11 eastbound is probably a lock at six to one. Um, so I would play him. It's kind of tough from the outside at a mile and an eighth, but you know, I guess that's going to be factored into the price somewhat. And if you really want to just listen, if you've lost all your money on my Gulfstream picks already, which is very possible, and you know, you, you want to really eat a little more juice, the nine and the 10 are both reasonable. So if it's if it's not hard enough to get there from the 11 post, how about you play the nine and the 10, which is even more impossible. So nine, 10, 11 box for all the cheese uh, to get all your money back for the day. Very possible. Um, okay, uh, race number nine. Um, nothing really, two, three, five, six are all probably going to win. Uh, we're all probably going to come in the money race number 10. There's a little bit of value. So let's say again, like, you know, you, you, you got up, you played all the DFS sports. I recommend you, you went played, said, you know what? I got nothing to do. It's two degrees. I'm going to bet some golf stream lost all of my money. And then like your, your, your spouse, your significant other or whatever is just yelling at you. How can you lose, lose all of our money betting on freaking golf stream? You don't even know these horses. You don't even know anything. You, you know what, just, I know what I'm doing. And, and then you go ahead and then you go play Santa Anita and then you lose all of your money in Santa Anita. Now, now like the mortgage is on the line and now like you're, 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 you're going to get divorced or they're going to, your spouse is going to break up with you, your girlfriend, your boyfriend, whatever you have is going to break up with you. All your friends are just kind of leaving you. And you're like, listen, just give me one more shot. Give me one more shot. I, I know what I'm doing. I'm going to listen to Eric and he's going to just take me to the promised land. I'm going to like get all of it back in one race. Well, how about race 10 at Santa Anita, the six and the 10. Iridio at 15 to one, and the 10, the dark shift at eight to one. And, you know, if everything else lost and you really, really need it, the one last chance to tilt and tell all the people that were yelling at you that you don't know what you're doing, that you shouldn't be gambling, that there's terrible edge in horse racing, you got a shot to get there with the six and the 10. And if that is not enough confidence for you, I don't know what is. So that will do it for today. Lots of opportunity to lose money. I mean, lots of opportunity to gamble. I mean, lots of opportunity to get good EV uh, uh, value on today's uh, horse racing slate on this very, very cold Saturday. Uh, good luck.